Hi everyone, it's Beth, and today I will be making a really cute decorative tray. I grabbed this little plate from Walmart, some decorative nautical rope from Dollar Tree. I used five packages. These wood rings from Dollar Tree, I needed four of those. This piece of self-adhesive felt, I don't remember where I got that from. Some twine and hot glue. First thing I did was started gluing in the very center of the plate. And then I just kept wrapping it around itself until the whole bottom was completely filled in. Just hot gluing it all the way around. After I had the rope glued all the way around the very bottom on the inside of the plate, I just started working my way up. This plate has like a little rim on it, so I just glued the rope on the inside all the way up onto that rim. After I had it glued all the way up the rim, I started gluing it on the very top of the rim. So on the very edge of the plate. And then once I had it covered on the edge, I started working my way down on the outside of the plate. It took about five packages of the thinner nautical rope from Dollar Tree. The thicker you might not need as much. So after that was all done and it was covered with the rope, I took my felt and just kind of tried to trace it out. It didn't work out too well, but just kind of cut it down to size and then stuck it on. I ended up using two pieces. I believe I got it on Amazon a long time ago. I just don't remember. I've had it for a while. So once I had it kind of cut down to size, I just peeled off the backing and placed it down onto the plate. And then trimmed up any excess that was hanging over. And then took my second piece and just cut that out and place that down. And 
I have these two different size rings from Dollar Tree. And I put the larger one and smaller one next to each other. Took the twine and wrapped it in a knot, connecting the two. And then trimming off the excess. And then taking a piece of the twine and then just wrapping it around a few times. And then hot gluing the end. Just so those stayed together. And then I just kept this going with the rest of the rings. I ended up using 10 large rings and 10 small rings. And just kept connecting them, alternating a large one and a smaller one until I had it all filled in. And here it is all done. So what I did was took it and kind of placed it on the back side of the tray and then hot glued the larger rings to the tray. The smaller ones don't quite touch. So I just went around connecting just the large rings. And then after I had it all completed all the way around, except for the last one, I needed to put the twine around those two. So I wanted to do that before I glued the last one on. So I just put the twine connecting those two last rings and then did the same thing I did with the rest. Just wrapped the twine around and hot glued the end. And then after that, I glued down my last ring onto the tray. And 
and that's it. Here it is all finished. I think it turned out so pretty. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.